our blessed people, the Lord Jehovah Yahweh, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Elion, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah Eloheinu, Jehovah Hoseinu. He has spoken with me, blessed people, this past night. A very, very severe conversation that the Lord had with me this past night. And in this conversation, the Lord spoke about why he has judged Kenya. The Lord has continued to speak about the judgment that is reigning over Kenya, the current judgment of the Lord that is happening over Kenya. And he spoke in very, very serious and severe terms about the judgment of the Lord that is happening in this land, that is currently ongoing in this land. When this nation decided to blackmail his two most dreadful prophets, the Lord Jehovah has spoken again in a very, very serious tone this past night about between one o'clock all the way to two. Then I woke up and began to make phone calls around. Then I understood that this nation is in for a rough time. They have touched a very sensitive place. This nation must return. With all their leaders, they must return all the way down to the smallest person. Even the animals must be given the start loss. They must place their animals in the stack also. Because I've seen an unbelievable drought. I've seen the entire heaven shut. Not even one leaf. And yet the Lord has also made it very clear that if they will repent and honor these two prophets, honor this voice that he has placed here, he will remember them according to his word in the book of Jeremiah, blessed people. Jeremiah chapter 18, I'm reading verse 7, he says, in Amplified, he says, if the nation will repent, then he will remember the nation. But before I tell you what the Lord has spoken, I'm reading Jeremiah 18, 7, only says, at one time I will suddenly speak concerning a nation that I will pluck up, to pluck up, and again he says very clearly here that I will pluck up. He says, break down and destroy. It. At one time I'll suddenly speak concerning a nation or a kingdom that I will pluck up, break down and destroy. It. And if the people of that nation concerning which I have spoken, Turn from their evil. I'll relent and reverse my decision concerning the evil that I told to do to them. And so it's very clear on that, that there is an exit strategy, there is a way out, that is repentance. If they can turn away, turn from their evil, then he will relent. And verse 9, he says, if they go back and speak evil again, you still destroy them. So this past night, the Lord spoke with me about sexual sin in this land. So this past night, on this night, the Lord spoke with me about the judgment of the Lord in this land. And he said, he is going to raise up his judgment. He is going to aggravate his judgment. The Lord took me all across the country and he showed me sexual sin in this country. Sexual sin in this land. Sexual sin in the nation that bears the name Kenya. And the worst kind of sexual sin, homosexuality in this country. The Lord took me across this country and showed me homosexuality going on in this country. The Lord is holy. 
The Lord is righteous. The Lord demands that a people that have been at this point selected to carry such a holy revival be holy. He says, be holy for I am holy. The Lord Jehovah, the one that woke up everybody in this country today, he woke them up and he gave them breath. He gave them breath so they woke up. If he did not give you breath, you die. The one that woke up every single child, every idol, every person in this country, and gave breath to those who are alive today, the one that created everybody that is today listening to me in this country. He took me across this land and he showed me terrible homosexuality going on in this country. This country is like Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Lord has commanded repentance. Repentance of everybody, including the animals, for him to bring rain to this land. The Lord has commanded every living person in this country to repent because this country is like Sodom and Gomorrah. He showed me the most abhorrible sexual immorality, homosexuality, and lewdness going on in this country. Kenya must repent. And he said, black men to his prophet will sink this country to hell. Will crush this country in the unbearable wrath of God. The Lord has commanded repentance in Kenya. The Lord Jehovah has commanded repentance. The Lord has asked the nation by command to repent. Homosexuality is in this country. Immorality, prostitution, lewdness, corruption, lies, deception, apostasy in the churches. How come you can't see that he has placed a treasure here? And blackmail, blackmail directed to his prophet will crush the country. Don't try. Don't try. The Lord is God. The Lord has commanded Kenya to repent. Look, there is no rain. Look, there is no dew. There is no food. The prizes are up the roof. There is no water. How will you flush your toilet? Where will you get water to drink? How will you shower? The rivers are drying up. What will your animals eat? What will they drink? Kenya must repent. And this past night, he showed me homosexuality. And he said, if Kenya repents, the next part of the dream, if Kenya repents, then he will present his prophet before the nation and before the council of the Lord in heaven. And they will command heaven to open, and rain will come. Repent, Kenya. Repent. The Messiah is coming. Be holy. Be righteous, Kenya. How come you did not know that posting these two mightiest prophets of Israel is a big responsibility? Don't fool around. Mature up, Kenya. Repent. Repent. Repent at that time. 
In other words, the Lord is saying that if this nation will repent, and only when they repent, then I have seen Elijah, the greatest prophet of the away, the greatest, the greatest prophet of heaven. I have seen the mightiest, the most terrible prophet of Yahweh standing before the nation and standing before Yahweh. Only when they repent that I have seen him command heaven and heaven obeys him. Then I hear him saying, now you can go and grow the fruit and grow the vegetables. And at that point, the bananas were very huge. The vegetables were huge. I have seen your future, but you must repent and turn away from homosexuality. Turn away from blackmailing God. Don't touch Elijah. Don't touch. Don't touch this prophet. Don't blackmail them. Run to them for help. They have come to prepare the way for a In other words, the Lord is saying, if you will continue blackmailing this prophet, he will crush you and he will sink the nation. Again, in other words, the Lord is saying, Kenya must repent together with your animals. Every living being in Kenya must repent and return to Jesus and be holy and stop the homosexuality. Sodom and Gomorrah were sunk by the fire of Elijah. God Almighty saying, if you will not repent, Buddha Umiya, he will crush you. He will crush you. But if you will repent, he will deliver you. He will rescue you. He will save you. And the Messiah Jesus Christ is coming. Christ the Messiah is coming. But do not think of blackmailing these two prophets. No matter who you are, don't try. Repent, Kenya. Repent. If you try to blackmail them, he will crush you. Look at the nation now. There is no rain. They hold the key to heaven. Repent, Kenya. And prepare you the way. Repent from homosexuality. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah. Please repent. Repent now. But I have seen that when Kenya repents, then Elijah stands before the Lord and opens heaven, commands heaven to open, and I hear him telling them, you can go now and grow your vegetables. So May 19th is a mass in Nairobi. Everybody must come down there and repent to save Kenya. Repent. 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 